What is going on everyone? Hope you are well. Another video, Talk With Tyler. And we have a lot to talk about on this video. So the markets, the markets went nuts today. We saw, I'm gonna go over some stocks. Um, I did buy some stocks today. So I'm gonna go through in this video what stocks I bought as of today, how much, and all that stuff in this video. But a super, super positive day. That's two days in a row. Yesterday was a super good day. Today was a good day. I'm gonna kind of share my overall thoughts on if I think this market's gonna continue in a positive direction. Also, I'm gonna talk about the Fed meeting. So we had the Fed meeting today. Um, obviously, we know that the Fed came out today and increased interest rates 25 basis points. So we did get that 0.25 like we were expecting. So I'm kind of gonna share my thoughts on the overall Fed meeting. Um, we had Tattoo Chef's earnings come out this morning. That's a stock that I have. Um, I'm kind of briefly going to touch on those earnings as well. So I'm kind, of, I'm kind of going to wrap a lot into this video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and if you do enjoy it, if you can give me a thumbs up, I greatly appreciate it. Helps my channel get to other people. And if you want to see future content, obviously you can subscribe as well. And I would appreciate that as well. So anyways, guys, let's hop into this video. First of all, let's just talk about the overall markets. So I know in my portfolio today, I mean, there was massive amount of stocks that were up. I mean, Coinbase had a really good day. Neo stock, these are all stocks that I currently own. Neo stock had a crazy good day. Um, Teladoc Health had a really good day. Corsair Gaming had a good day. Tattoo Chef had a good day. Tesla had a good day. Amazon had a good day. Facebook had a good day. PayPal had a good day. Pretty much every single stock, I think the only stocks that I had that didn't have such a good day was Pfizer, and obviously because it's a value play, so it didn't have as much action to that today. And Planet 13, I know a lot of people like my Planet 13 videos. Planet 13 was actually up about 11% today, and unfortunately it gave up some of its gains. and went down right under $2 a share. I think it's about $1.98 right now. I'm not worried about that. Um, I'll be happy, you know, if Planet 13 continues to go down. If Planet 13 wants to sit at $2 or even go to $1.50, I'll be happy. I'll pick up more shares. It's a long-term investment for me. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens with that. So today I did put in $5,000 today into the stock market. That was new money put in. Um, I, I bought five companies with that 5,000, put a thousand in each. So the five companies that I bought today, I bought some Planet. So I bought Planet 13, I put $1,000 in there. I think it was about 500 shares. Um, I bought Facebook, I bought some PayPal, I bought some Coinbase, and I bought some Tattoo Chef. Those are the five companies today and it was equally divided with $1,000. But yeah, Coinbase, Tattoo Chef, uh, PayPal, Facebook, and the planet. So those are all companies that I will be happy if the prices continue to go down. I just see massive, I mean, PayPal right now, I'm buying at $100 a share. I mean, that is laughable. I'm buying PayPal right now at $100 a share. I'm buying Facebook for around $200 a share, if not lower. I'm buying Coinbase for $165. I'm buying the planet for two. And I'm buying um, Tattoo Chef at 11. I mean, those are all steel deals, in my opinion. This is my, you know, this is just my opinion, obviously. But those are the companies today that I did add shares into. Um, there is few, and I, and I bought them when the market was up. I didn't even, guys, that's the thing. Like, the market went up today, and I'm sure a lot of people didn't buy shares because there's a lot of people that are trying to time the bottom. I didn't, I'm not worried about the bottom. There's already a ton of good stock prices right now currently, so I'm not even worried about having to price everything at the perfect price. I rolled my Walgreens um, shares over and bought numerous stocks a couple days ago, and that benefited from the past couple days, but that wasn't, I wasn't trying to time anything. I wasn't trying to, the prices are already really good. So rather the prices go down, or rather the prices go up really 20% up from what they are right now, I'm going to be buying these shares. Now I'm gonna be doing it with space in between. Like I've discussed on other videos, I'm really doing like monthly monthly distributions 
That way I'm not getting ca too caught up in putting in big chunks and the market continuing to go down just because I already have a, a good amount of exposure. So that's just kind of my strategy on that. You know, as long as these stocks sit where they're at or anywhere really where they're at, I'm gonna be buying shares because I see, I know these are growth stocks. I know these are innovative companies. I know, you know, 36 months from now, these prices are not gonna be anywhere close to where they're at right now, in my opinion. So going off of that, what did I think about the Fed meeting? I think the Fed meeting that came out today did about everything that we were kind of expecting. We got a quarter point increase, that was expected. Um, the Fed pretty much said that we're gonna do whatever tools are necessary in order to control the inflation. So I think that gave the market a little bit of relaxing a breath because the market, what, what is the main things right now that the market's thinking about? The main things that the market's thinking about right now is inflation, um, the Russia and Ukraine situation, and just the overall, you know, reopening of everything. So, and there's a few things in there, gas prices, you can say all that, but that's all wrapped up into inflation. And the other thing that the Fed was, I mean, the other thing that the market was thinking about was the Fed. So we got the answer today from the Fed. We got a little bit of a hint on what's gonna be happening with inflation, you know, and it kind of gave the market some answers. You know, we didn't see the market fall after, you know, the market was up big all day. We didn't see the market fall when the Fed came out. So the market responded very well to the Fed coming out and raising the interest rate and also kind of saying like, hey, we're gonna do whatever we have to do necessary that we can to control inflation. So it kind of, it, it, it gave a little bit of relaxing time to the market. Also, obviously the Ukraine situation, their president came out today, you know, there's a potentially some agreements that could be happening there. Obviously, nothing's been done there yet. Um, I'm not betting on anything of being worked out anytime soon, but it was just more positive um, information that was just given out to the overall markets. And once you have a combination of those things and with oil prices going below $100 a barrel, now you're having a combination of good news. And, and when you're having a lot of combination of good news on all this fear that has literally been pumped in your face for the past 12 months, 14 months, when you start to have a little bit of good news, that's when these short squeezes begin to happen. All these companies that are heavily shorted, when those stock prices start to move and they start to move fast, it causes them to jump fast because all those shorts have to cover their positions. And right now we're seeing that, I feel like a lot in the Chinese stocks. We obviously saw the Beijing, China stuff happen today that caused China stocks to go through the roof. Um, obviously I own NEO, so that's good for me. Um, I added a little bit of NEO shares the other day. It's not my biggest position, um, but I do have some exposure to NEO stock. Um, so all it takes is that to happen. And guys, these stocks start going up. And when they go up, they go up fast because all those shorts have to start covering their positions. So it's easy for stocks to continue to go down when there's a lot of negative news, but it's harder when stocks start to go up to stop the momentum. Because once you're shorting, eventually you only can short so much because there's so many people that are holding long in these positions. If you look at Planet 13, for an example, the stock has been beat to death. We've seen this stock go from $8 at its highs to now under $2 a share. I know there's more people holding the stock for the long term like me. So eventually the stock's only going to be able to go so low because you're going to have long-term investors that are, that are going to hold the stock up. And people get greedy and they continue shorting the stock. And eventually when that stock moves, it is going to move very fast because all those shorts are going to have to cover their positions. And, you know, eventually you're going to have enough long-term investors that are going to kick in until new money begins to flow into those companies. Now, I'm not saying it's going to flow into companies like Planet 13 fast, um, but it, it, in my opinion, if the company is good and people want to buy the stock, eventually it's going to happen. And, and I mean, the, the lower the stock goes, the less wiggle room you have as a short. So we're starting to see that happen into a lot of stocks right now. I mean, look at Coinbase. Coinbase is one of the biggest positions I hold. That stock 
is has been beat. I mean, we saw that thing IPO last year go over four hundred dollars on the IPO. It's sitting at one hundred and sixty dollars right now. So, you know, and the, and there's so many good companies you can choose right now. I mean, Alibaba, Alibaba, that stock has been beat. You know, and I get it. I get it's a Chinese company. I get all that. Um, but look where the stock price did today. I mean, that stock went up like thirty percent today. So. And it doesn't just go up 30% because it's just new money going into the stock. The stock's going up 30% because it's a heavily shorted stock. And when that stock starts moving, it is going to move fast. So now that we've had two positive days, what is my outlook? Do I think these positive days are going to continue? Well, I don't think that we're out of the negative space yet. I do think that there's going to be a potential for more correction. I do think there's gonna be a potential for more bad days. But on the flip side, I will say this. When you're having a market move at the pace that it did today, I mean, we saw stocks go crazy today. When you're having that type of momentum, it starts to get hard to slow it down. And when you start getting a lot of answers coming into the market that we've got here recently, the market starts to get positive and when you start having stocks go up at this pace and those short squeezes happen, these stocks can move up and move up fast. Because you got to understand, these growth stocks, these small cap stocks are down 50, 60, 70, 80%. If you go look at the S&P 500 right now, it's not down that much. We've, we've seen the NASDAQ drop 20%, which it's probably above that now after the past two days we've had. So guys, those stocks can move up, and especially when you're talking about innovative companies like Teladoc Health, Coinbase, Neo stock, Tesla stock, Facebook stock, PayPal. These are companies that are still growth companies that have tons of growth ahead of them. Tattoo Chef, super innovative company in the whole um, in the whole uh, vegan space. So or plant based, yeah. So guys, when these stocks move they're going to move and they're going to move fast. Um, now, are we completely over it? No, I don't think we're completely over it, but we're seeing the market start to move in another direction. And when you've got a market that's down as much as it has been down recently, you are going to see these shares move up and move up fast. So regardless, I don't care what the shares are doing short term. I'm a long-term guy. I'm going to be putting, put, putting money in uh, on a monthly basis. I'm going to be buying the best companies that I can possibly buy for the cheapest price that I can possibly buy them. And that's what I'm doing. A lot of these stocks, if they go up 10%, 20%, they're still deals still. These stocks that have plenty of room to go up. So I'm not in a rush. I'm not trying to time the bottom. I'm not trying to be greedy and get in at the lowest point. You know, I'm just going to be accumulating shares, accumulating more ownership in the companies. And long term, we'll see what happens. But you know, I was very happy with the Fed. I thought the Fed meeting was very smooth. I don't, I don't think they came out and gave us anything that was out of the ordinary that would have caused the market to drop. You know, if they would have came out and increased, you know, interest rates and went up, you know, 50 basis points, that would have caused the market to have a little bit of a concern and maybe, you know, pulled away the gains that we had today. Um, but the Fed came out, he said, you know, we're doing a quarter point as scheduled. We're going to have, you know, X amount of meetings. Now, rather than do a quarter point of meeting, we'll have to see. Um, but he did say that we're going to use whatever tools are necessary in order for inflation to tame itself. And he saw that, in, he said that inflation in the future, he sees coming back down to a normal rate. So all that is good news. And like I said, we've seen uh, fuel prices go under $100 a barrel. That is good news. And also there's a lot of reopening going on right now. So we could potentially see a lot of reopening um, a lot of money start to go back into the economy with international travel, things like that. People going out to concerts, a lot more stuff like that. So there's a lot of positive things going on in the market right now. Um, but we still have the we still have the Ukraine and Russia issue. We still have inflation issues. We still have interest rate issues. There, I'm going to be very clear. There is still a lot of major issues going on right now that I don't think the market's completely recovered. But I definitely think these past couple of days have shown what this market is gonna do when things start to get cleaned up. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys. I wanted to do a video, just kind of share my thoughts on the overall day. 
you had a great day. It was a great day. So take the day for what it is. Don't get too excited. Um, and we'll kind of see what happens from this point. But overall, really cool day. Lots of stuff going on in the market. Tomorrow, we'll see what these prices do. Um, I'll make a video if I do do anything in the market. I'll keep you guys posted, obviously. But that's what I did today. Those are my thoughts regarding the Fed, stocks, all that good stuff. So hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, until next time, peace.